Good evening, high school baseball regional semifinals this afternoon. Put on your seatbelt, folks. We got a couple of wild rides for you. We start in Division II, a rematch of a wild Diamond Classic title game the other night. DeWitt won that one 10 to 9. This one at Williamson against the Hornets. Bottom of the third, DeWitt led 5 4. Miles Keener ropes that one to right field. That would bring in two runs. Give the Hornets a 6-5 lead. Couple of batters later now. Up 7-5. Hunter Van Sickler, the sophomore, pokes it up the middle. Goes off the shortstop's glove. Brings in Keener. Hornets had a five-run third inning. Led 9-5. DeWitt had an answer, though. Top five. Down 9-6. Jake Scorfar goes deep. A bomb that gets out. The lead is 9-7. Top six. Down a run. Abram Larner for DeWitt. Hits this one for a base knock to center that brings in A.J. Alcia. And this game is tied at nine again. We go to the 11th inning. Nick Weiss gets the base knock to left field, brings in A.J. Alicia. You give the Panthers a 10 to nine lead again. Willie down to its last life and Nick Weiss gets Caleb Nielsen to pop out. Larner makes the catch, an unbelievable game finally comes to an end. DeWitt wins 10 to nine in 11 innings again and moves on to the regional finals for the first time since 2018. It's been three times we've met up, and uh, it took extra innings in every one of them. Coach Orr has a great team. Uh, they battle, and, and we were able to match it, and then it just turned out our way. It could have went either way. For this one to end this way, to be honest, though, I feel like we could have played DeWitt probably 100 times this year, and probably every single one would have gone to extra innings. That's a great group over there. just love these guys. This is by far the closest team I've ever been a part of, and you know, Williamson's a great team. I got a lot of respect for all the guys over there. They believe in each other, and they're going to do whatever they have to until they tell us to go home. We say all the time that... Uh, that was a good one. That feels great. I'll take those every time. <laughs> all right, Division One Regional Semifinal. Oakham is trying to get past a thorn in its side. After losing in the tournament last year to Battle Creek Lakeview and again earlier this season, winner of this one would move on to the regional final Saturday morning at Northville. Bottom two, man on for Jake Stagg. Big game for him, shoots it to right field. Garrett Rizzi scores 1-0 Okemos. Wolves kept the bases clean with outstanding defense. Here's Caleb Bonimer, the do-it-yourself double play to keep the Spartans off the board. Bottom of the sixth, Okemos down three to two, huge two out rally. Nick Grabornis, a missile to third base. Two run score, part of a seven run sixth for Okemos. Now to the seventh inning, nine six Wolves. Grabornis on the mound, gets out of trouble to end it. Okemos avenges last year's playoff loss. The Wolves hauled off the Spartans nine to six in a wild game. Okemos moves into Saturday's regional title game for the first time in 27 years. I've never uh, been in a situation like that where, you know, you feel good about where you are, and the next minute you're down a run. What we did in that bottom half of the inning really speaks to what this team is all about. Never gives up, just going to fight to the very end, and you see the results. And you're right, they have had our number the past couple of times we've been out, but it feels really good to, uh, to beat a great team like that.